Hi all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, it details how to suggest optional product to the customer in Odoo 15 website. Optional product is the activity of selling an additional product to a customer. It is considered as marketing strategy for cross-selling product with a main product. So the main goal of this is to offer useful and complementary products to the customer. So let us see how to create optional product and sell this to the customers. For that, we need to create a product. Before that, we can go to the configuration settings and make sure that we have enabled the optional products option here. It is to display a prompt with optional products when added to the cart. So after making the changes, we can choose the products menu and click on this create icon. Here in this window, we can provide the details. So let's add the product name here. Let it be a laptop. And we can enable or disable the options such as can be sold, can be purchased. Under the general information tab, here we can uh, mention the product type. Then we can allocate the invoicing policy. Moreover, we can add the basic uh, base unit count then here we can add the sales price. Then here we can choose the product category, internal reference, barcode and company. So to get a clear picture on product creation, we can check the above mentioned link how to create product in Odoo 15. So when we comes to the sales tab, here we can see the upsell and cross sell section. Here we can allocate the optional product associated with any. And also we can provide the accessory product and the alternative product details. So let's add a product in this field. So here I have added to your warranty. Then when we comes to the uh, case of alternative product, it is a product in the same category with different attributes. So we can allocate a product here. So here I'm adding keyboard and a mouse. Then in the case of accessory, it is the accessory product suitable for the main product. So here I have added headset as the accessory product. So we have added the products for each, uh, each type and when we comes to the e-commerce shop section, here we can see a field ribbon. It allows the user to configure the discounts offer tag from the backend and visible on the front end. So this option will only get by activating the debug mode. So here we can see a lot of ribbons and it is also possible to start typing a new one. So here I am adding a ribbon new. Then here we can choose the categories from here. And it is also possible to add the website sequence. So here I am adding one. So after providing all the details, we can click on the save icon. Now we can go to the website and publish this product. Now let's see how it is done. For that we can choose the all product options from here. So here we have the product laptop that we have created now. It is in the position 1 because we have added the sequence number 1. And here we can see the ribbon new that we have added. So we can click on this and add this to the cart. So when we scroll down here, we can see the suggested alternatives. So we have added the keyboard and mouse as the alternative product. So it is possible to compare the products by clicking on here. So we can uh, add this laptop to the product, add to cart. So by clicking on add to cart, a new window came with the product that we have added as optional product inside the product configuration. So we can also add this product along with the product. So here I am adding this one also and click on this proceed to checkout. 
So in this way, we can sell an optional product to the customers while purchasing another product. So here we can see the subtotal taxes, total amount here. And here we can see the suggested accessories for the products. So here we have added a uh, headset as the accessory product and it is also possible to uh, add this product along with this. So here I'm adding this too and you can click on this process checkout. So we have been discussing on how to suggest optional product to the customers in Odo 15 website. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.